We're on the edge. We're on the edge of the pandemic finally ending. More and more people are getting vaccinated. And with the security of the vaccine, a sense of safety that it's okay to get out and do stuff. Businesses are opening up. Traffic is returning. There was a terrible backup on 101 just today. Oh, the good old days. The schools are opening up. We're so close. Could this be the end? Are we on the edge of going back to normal? Could that be in sight? But after this year-long night, can we go back to normal? What is normal? We're standing on the edge of this pandemic ending. Being on the edge can be full of anxiety. It's not quite solid ground because the future isn't for sure. You really don't want to go back, but you can't trust what's ahead. When, how can you trust what's ahead when you've never experienced it? It's an unknown. After everything we've been through, can we trust what's next? I remember being on edge as I watched my son and husband stand on the edge of a cliff overlooking the deep blue beautiful waters of Crater Lake, perched with their toes literally hanging over this like must have been 40 foot high cliff, getting poised to jump off the edge. The people who had taken that 40 foot leap into the icy cold lake down below were calling out words of encouragement. Jump, jump, you can do it. Just step off. It's great, it's beautiful down here. You can do it, really, it's great. They were shouting these supportive words to their friends and to the stranger standing high above the edge. It became an impromptu support group because some of those strangers would be standing right there on the edge for a long, long time, breathing, shaking their hands and arms to loosen up, closing their eyes, opening their eyes, trying to muster the courage to go off the edge and leap in. Some seemed determined to step out and then they lost heart and walked back. No, no, no. They went onto the edge again. The decision wasn't coming quickly, but they couldn't quit standing on the edge not able to jump, and not wanting to walk back either. They were afraid, even though they wanted to. Even when everyone around them was taking the leap, even when they had so many voices of encouragement. So they just stood there, immobilized, some finally did move and walk away, deciding they didn't have the stamina, just too tired, saying, no, 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 I'm not up for it. Sometimes we stand on the edge for a long time, frozen, not wanting to go back, because that might seem like failure, and equally afraid of what will happen if we just step forward and jump. So we just stand stuck on that anxious edge, possibly hoping something will shift in us, uh, will unlock 
inside and that new self will just move off and leap in. Or maybe we're hoping we won't have to make the decision at all, that fantasizing that someone else will just push us off or pull us away. We're attracted to leaping into the beautiful water below and terrified to do it at the exact same time. Peter and Pilate, in those pre-dawn hours, found themselves taken to the edge by this person, Jesus. Peter had been following Jesus after his arrest all night long, sticking close, and now he was just outside the court. Loyal, not wanting to abandon his friend, and terrified for himself at the same time. Peter had come to the edge of his loyalty to his friend when he was directly asked by a stranger, are you his friend? Didn't I see you? He couldn't do it. He walked back. He lied. He could only go so far with his support. He had thought that he'd already jumped and that he was swimming in the waters with Jesus. Then, the edge of day, he saw that he hadn't even jumped in. He was still on the edge after all. Pilate. Pilate saw something in Jesus that affected him deep inside. Pilate knew a political game was going on. He was a politician, after all. He was also a Roman. He knew his Greek philosophy. Pilate was intrigued, attracted by something he saw in Jesus. Perhaps the integrity, the authenticity, he experienced Jesus, something fascinating. Something clicked in him. And during the inquiry, Pilate found himself on the edge, almost converted. He doesn't want to put this man to death. He sees no threat. He seeks alternatives. Where's your kingdom? He tries to throw him back to Ananias and Caiaphas, he offers to use the tradition of setting a prisoner free at the Passover. In these pre-dawn hours, when the stars fade, but the sun isn't up yet, when it's the edge of a new day, Pilate himself stood on the edge. He knew the truth. He knew what was happening. But in the end, fear for his own political life took hold, and he handed Jesus over. He walked back, away from the edge. We are on the edge, attracted to the future, and yet frightened at the same time. We are in those pre-dawn hours. The night of this pandemic has brought us to the edge so many times. We've seen our streets go empty and silent. We have lived in daily fear of contracting this virus or infecting someone being stuck inside with no way to distract ourselves. We've seen people murdered for the color of their skin, and this time we couldn't turn away. We've seen the mind-numbing numbers of people who've died of COVID, experienced friends, loved ones die alone. 
We see before us the lack of health care for the poor. We know the people who have lost their jobs. We have gone without hugging our relatives for over a year. Our children wear masks and are, have learned to avoid people. And we've seen children in cages. We've learned our lives are too cluttered. We are overscheduled. We realized our time together has been wasted. After all this, what does normal mean anymore? Peter and Pilate stood at a cruxus, attracted and frightened at the same time. Knowing the truth in Jesus, glimpsing this new thing that transformed the law, that brought healing and enlightenment that was merciful. Peter and Pilate, in the end, made a choice. They were just too tired and too afraid. They just couldn't jump. So they chose to walk back on the path of self-interest. We stand on the edge in these pre-dawn hours, and we may have caught a glimpse of something better than normal. We're attracted to those beautiful blue waters of a new life. We're drawn to doing things differently, to not return, not walk back. After this night, on this edge of this new day, will we take the plunge?